Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. This is the Bad 300 and if you've never seen this map, let me first say we are playing in Crunnycraft. Don't expect a series, I'm just goofing around in here. Uh, something to do, a little game of my own. Seeing how I like it, it's not too bad of a mod pack. I did have to add baubles to it. To, uh, you know, it was partway there, but... They only really gave you one thing, so. And I do like the uh, magnet ring. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today we are talking about Trollcraft. Yes, I am here to talk about Trollcraft. I want to talk to the audience of Trollcraft and to the three people playing Trollcraft and just bring up some stuff maybe they haven't thought about and something to the audience itself and the very first thing I would like to say is Captain Sparkles get you this dang on purplicious cow before I find your house and blow it up why because you can take a crap ton of damage with this cow All right. Okay, with that being out of the way, next I would like to address all three of them together. Now, Sunday has 7.7 .7 million followers. And Craner has 2.1 million followers. Now, you guys have played together a long time. You've done a lot of packs a long time. But this season, you added Captain Sparkles into the mix. Captain Sparkles has 7.7, 7, or no, 8, or blah, 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 9.8 million followers. And something you guys have yet to take into account, and I know you keep telling the people this, but you should know from, if you've done any amount of politics, I have another channel that's a rant channel where I follow politics and stuff like that, and from following that no matter what you will have some fans that are going to be fanatics they're going to be radicals and they're going to be so die hard um person a that they're going to give dislikes to person b so with you and craner with, with sunday and craner the audience is fairly i'm going to assume although there's people that are going to have you know the craner are going to have the Craner, the, the crazy family, and the Sunday's going to have, I don't know what he calls his followers, but, and they're going to be partial to you two, but you two have been playing together so long that your fans, you don't have as many super fans on one side of the aisle or the other. But you threw in a new person into the mix that has more followers than you two together. Well, not really the new two together, but it'd be close, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, because Captain Sparkles by himself has, yeah, just as many followers as you two do together. And when you throw that into the mix, you're going to have a lot more dislikes. Whenever you troll Captain Sparkles hard, you're going to have a lot more dislikes. And when he trolls... You, you guys hard. <laughs> That's hilarious. When he trolls you guys hard, he's going to have a lot more dislikes than normal. It's the politics of Minecraft. It is the politics of YouTube. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. I've seen people absolutely love, love, love somebody. And then because they're more of a fanboy of person B... And they said something bad about person B or something that person, even if they wasn't insulting, it was just, hey, bro, I disagree with you on this point. I've seen them just totally, well, I'm unsubbing you. I don't like you, blah, blah, blah. It's water, okay? I know it's in a Pepsi cup. That's irony. But, uh... Yeah, and that's another reason I did this face cam, so you can see the person behind the mic for once. I'm a big, fat, lovable teddy bear, and yeah, that is my Air Force flag. 
like Sunday, which is one of the things I do like about him. I was a member of the military. So, back to the topic at hand is you guys got to expect you're going to have, until you guys do more stuff with Captain Sparkles, you're going to have a higher dislike ratio. It's not saying anything bad. It's not saying that people don't like what you're doing because they do. It's that you're going to have a lot of more of the pure fanboys. And a lot of people just don't give likes. If they did, there would be a lot more. I'm not sure why. You know you're on camera, right? <laughs> You would have, you're going to have a lot more dislikes just because of the way the cookie crumbles until everybody gets used. To it. As more people grow accustomed to the different people, that like-dislike ratio will improve because you won't have as many people caring. Oh, you, yeah, that's fun and games, haha. But right now you have the fanboys that are just going to, like, uh, uh, what is it, one of the somebody said a while ago is uh how to get a bunch of uh views on a video piss off the bro army just go and insult pewdiepie because you'll have his entire fanboy base over knocking on your door watching your all your videos just so that way they can dislike them and it's very true it, it's something that happens in politics and right now this is your actually dealing with the politics of YouTube when you do this on here. And that's just the way the fanboys is. And to the next subject, guys, come on. When you do, when you're putting out two videos a day. Now, I don't know if Sunday has somebody to help him render these videos. But to put out content for two videos a day. <laughs> On average, especially when you're dealing mostly with Minecraft, takes a lot of work when you're in these mod packs. There is a lot of work. This right here, this little bit I got here is probably 7-8 hours worth of play time. That little mine you've seen me came from. Oh, by the way, let me get, uh, no, not tin, not iron. Aluminum has to go in there. That great big hole was just to get that little bit of aluminum ore. <laughs> and this takes a whole lot of work. And if you're the one rendering the videos, and I got to tell you, Sunday and them, they have much better equipment than I do. For me, I'm rendering stuff on the same PC that I'm playing on. So it's... A lot more demanding for me. I could put out two videos a day if I wanted to. But I would be in this little room all day long. And when I mean little, I can touch both walls. This was a walk-in closet that shortly after my daughter was born, I had to give up my office for her to have a bedroom. So right now I am in the... What was originally the master bedroom's walk-in closet, I sealed the wall off and put the door in. And a matter of fact, I can't shut the door with the light bulb in. I have to literally take the light bulb out to shut that door. So that's one of my up-and-coming projects. And people got real life and they do get burned out. I recently took a short two-week break off YouTube or, yeah, probably about two weeks. Although, most people really didn't notice because, let's face it, I don't have, you know, I have less than 600 subscribers, which is, means you only get a few views to a few hundred per video. No big deal. And that's one thing I would like to address with Sunday. While taking a complete break is great with the way YouTube is doing its analytics now. I would recommend at least doing one video a week. Maybe just stay up with the troll craft for now. And I understand, you know, a lot of people are mad about 
that, which if somebody's got to take a complete break and walk away, that's great. But there's been a lot of YouTubers that some take a break and they come back and they're great. You know, they're doing, um, they're doing great on everything and it doesn't really hurt them. Others take a break and they never get back to, don't tell me, ah, son of a beaver. The others take a break and they never quite make it back. Now, you got enough subscribers that molten aluminum there. Okay, let's add two of those. I said two. And then go in here and get two more. Find a couple more obsidian. But some people take a break and they never quite get back to the viewership. Now, I know for you... It's the entertainment aspect because you've done made probably all the money you're ever going to need. Jordan's done made all the money he's ever going to need. Uh, Craner, yeah, he's probably doing okay because he's still fairly low on the totem pole, so to speak. But... Um, As far as, you know, you could take a big hit to losing a, a lot of viewer base just because of the way YouTube works. Now, I do know, like, um, Bebop Box, he took a break. He ended up, because of personal reasons, he was gone for six months, did two videos, and then disappeared again after saying he was coming back. Which, for him, you know, he had a big following, too, and... His wife has a good job, so the income really isn't there, isn't a driving factor anymore. Unlike, you know, somebody like me, with I have any incomes, not really because I don't make any money off this. I've been doing this for several years. I have 500 videos, and I haven't even made my first $100 off of uh, ad revenue. But, yeah, you need to... Do what you got to do. Take a break. You know, you might even need to, because you're constantly Craner, Craner, Craner. And no offense to you, Craner, on this. But maybe uh, go play some games with Bex. Uh, go and see about getting into the uh, some of the games that uh, Captain Sparkles does with uh, Bex. And then, um, oh, Seth Bling. You know, where you're doing the uh, making the art things, something like that. Just uh, try some different games. You know, if Sunday, if you want to play some different games, dude, hit me up. I have a ton of different games and we could have some real fun putting out some videos. And it would introduce your audience as because, you know, you're, you're as your audience matures. Not all of them keep following the same thing. I. See, I watch Trollcraft because it's hilarious watching you guys troll each other. It's also hilarious watching you walk right past stuff in plain sight. And people sit there and yell at their screens at you, and it's freaking hilarious. But. Oh, yeah. Now we need to capture that in the tank. Ooh. Now I gotta go find my tanks. <laughs> but yeah, when you get burned out, you just need to take a break, relax, and now to talk to your fans. People, you need to lighten up some. This is I wouldn't call this a hard job to do so much. I mean, it does take a lot of effort and a lot of work, especially uh, like video editing makes me beat my head on my desk all day long just because, you know, I'm my age and I actually, my hands do tend to tremble a little. You know, I've been a wrench turner my whole life and that's really affect the uh, dexterity in my wrist. 
to where I'll be going to click because you're doing fine, fine clicking. And it's real super easy to misclick. And then you got to undo a bunch of crap and re oh, it can get so annoying. That's the reason why most of my videos are edited simply. I mean, Captain Sparkles does have Nick there, which I keep telling Nick that he needs to record his episodes when they do the um, Fusion Trials. And see, there you go, Sunday. That's something that, you know, maybe get somebody to record uh, Fusion Trials with or, you know, a game like that. Something that's not normal. Because I tell you what, I had to put uh, Minecraft down for a good while. This channel here is set dead. And I have my other channel that's called Bad Gaming. And you can go there and you can see a lot of games on that channel. And then I finally came back to the, this, this channel here because I wasn't going anywhere with that channel either. And I decided just to post all gameplay up on this channel. And... You know, I left this channel for a while because I had gotten burned out on it. It was just so, uh, this game, the grind, the grind. And I come back and then there's all this new crap and I don't know how to do anything. So it's like being a newbie again. Sometimes you just need to put the game down and walk away. And I know Minecraft is your bread and butter. And you're always going to have a Minecraft audience. But... You know, to the, the fans, you, you guys got to realize that we get burned out on these games. Playing the same games day in and day out. They get so boring. It's like when I was a kid, I had like four Nintendo games. I mean, you can only run through Mario so many times before, uh, for the average person. So guys, give your YouTubers a break. You know, they, they do a great job, and they're working hard for you. And I can tell you, as a fan, do love. Keep up the good work on Trollcraft. Like I said, it would be great. You know, if nothing else, for keep up for the um, YouTube analytics. Keep up producing a Trollcraft once a week. And then maybe... Try some different games, but take a break. Have a little bit of off time. Until then, we will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and if you enjoyed this, check out my other videos. Subscribe to the channel. There will be some uh, boxes here somewhere. And if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to become my first Patreon subscriber for a dollar a month to show love. Otherwise, we will catch you on the flip side. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, see ya. And Keen and Zine, please hurry up and release the Trollcraft Mod Pack. Please. Until next time, this is the Bad 300 signing off. Bye-bye. <laughs>